Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to A46 channel. Today's video is about the tools you need to diagnose what's wrong with your car. So I'm talking about the OBD second generation. Uh, and I have with me three different OBDs which I'm gonna be testing and showing you uh, which one works better, even on the BMW. Uh, I will start with this guy called Wi-Fi uh, Super OBD. Uh, I do need to have OBD that's connected only uh, by Wi-Fi option because of the iPhone. And then on the other side I have VPIC. Uh, something about VPIC uh, is I've been using VPIC for over three years now and uh, the old one just uh, stopped working. I might have hit it somewhere or I don't know what happened but anyways. And I went and contacted the support team uh, of VPIC and they sent me this two for free. So this one is the same as the OBD I had, like just a normal OBD, same shape, like same size. And this one here, it is more advanced and it's called OBD Check Bleed Plus. And uh, with the proper app installed on your phone, you can even code your car. It supports coding as well. Anyways, uh, not all of us are interested on in coding the car, but all of us are interested on uh, knowing uh, in more depth uh, what's wrong with the car. And I'll, I'll show you that this one gives you more details, it gives you even uh, information how you can fix the problem, while these other two uh, are limited to that uh, direction. I asked for a 15% uh, discount for you guys, so we got that for both OBDs and uh, on Amazon it works. So the code is YTDISC15, so YTDISC15. Uh, I'll put the code on the description as well. And uh, anyway, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start with this uh, OBD, the, the cheap one. I'll show you even the first steps by connecting it and what you expect to see and uh, We'll go from there. So, the OBD is usually located under the steering wheel, somewhere under the on the foot well here. And on the BMW, it is right here. Mine is kind of damaged, doesn't stay there, so I'm gonna hold it with my hand. Anyways, so you pull the cover, and then you plug the OBD in place, just like that. This guy doesn't show you any indicator that is connected or anything, but it works and I'm gonna open the app and show you what you need to do right now. Uh, I'll tell you that I do have a few codes or a few things wrong with my car and uh, for and we'll see something on the on the app there anyway so i do have the full version of eobd fossil and i'm going to be using the same one for the, both of the uh, obds like the normal obds and for the uh, obd check bleep plus i'm going to be using carista because uh, it can support that and it has more options so let's go ahead and open the app before we'll make sure that it's connected and using the Wi-Fi so there it is Wi-Fi OBD we'll close that we'll connect the OBD choose BMW and then I will uh, check mark all the options that uh, the OBD fossil supports to see it doesn't take long to connect to the car it's reading all the modules transmission ECU and everything and there we go it's already connected but there is a downside of it here which I don't know if it affects the processing the diagnosing process or no while you go to diagnose so here we have a few options on the OBD fossil I like the this app I've bought the full version of it and uh, we go to diagnostic and there you have all these options, stats, uh, trouble codes, freeze frame, oxygen sensor, system, clear DTC, consistent report history, like all these uh, options here. 
anyways we'll go and click the travel codes and you're gonna see now it is gonna show some error uh, messages here which all we need to do is just click OK to go forward and there you have it I don't know if that's normal <laughs> I don't think it is normal because I don't get these messages on any other BM uh, any other uh, OBD anyway so just click OK and it's gonna go to the and do the job there it is come on now okay so out of this uh, ordinary OBD I only get the PO140 which is uh, no circuit no activity detected on bank 1 sensor 2 which is the O2 sensor behind the cats on the bank uh, 1 anyways I haven't looked into further into it because might not be the sensor might be something else causing it but anyway so we only see one code here uh, on this OBD so I'm gonna go ahead and exit that and connect the other uh, normal OBD the VPIC even the package is so nice like it comes in this foam here to protect it from damages and stuff like that and so I'm going to disconnect the other one and connect the DPIC that is connected same thing uh, this other VPIC doesn't show doesn't give you any indication that is connected but anyways so Wi-Fi OBD2 is connected through Wi-Fi option again will open OBD fossil will connect with the car and so again BMW okay all the modules uh, check marked and it takes a little bit longer for the uh, VP to connect to the car's computer and maybe because it uh, operates more of most of the modules probably and that's my suggestion my opinion because we'll see that we're gonna get more codes than just PO140 from uh, the other OBD okay and there it is so I'll go to diagnostic again and then we'll see for travel codes okay and there we have it so if with the other OBD we only saw PO140 with VPIC we are able to see even the last travel codes so PO140, P2FOD, P2C77. Uh, so there is at least four codes that we see with this one. And now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna clear or do anything, but uh, if you want, you can click on the error message there, uh, error code, and it's gonna give you all this uh, freeze frame here, when it happened, what was the engine speed the rpm what was the uh, coolant temperature and all that even the packaging is way nicer than the previous two so it comes in this little box so unzip it and there it is it even comes both the, the vpic obds come with this uh, little menu here which tells you what uh, uh, apps you can uh, download and install and what works via Bluetooth and what what works via Wi-Fi which is nice to have it feels uh, like a good quality and even gives you the uh, email address of the support team support at vpic.com and uh, so let's go ahead and plug this one and see what are the messages we get and remember for the vpic uh, obd check bleep plus i'm going to be using carista because this obd uh, has a more advanced uh, programming and it works better or it offers uh, more features than the other two that we just checked and that's why we are going to go ahead and use the carista and see what's the result we are going to get out of this obd there you go so it flashes once and that indicates that it's connected and now we'll go ahead and use the use Carista. Now, of course, Carista will take longer. I'm gonna go ahead and click diagnose, and automatically it's connecting to the OBD. 
it will do that automatically you don't need to do anything else right there and it takes a little bit longer uh, for Carista to process and work with the computer on the car um, that's probably because it uh, uh, it has more access to the computer to more modules more in depth and we'll see what I'm talking about in just one second it takes about three four minutes for Carista to process all the uh, modules that it can access and once it's completed to 100% there we have it so it's uh, it found 10 co uh, 10 faults when with the first OBD we only found one the second we found four and the second was a VPIC as well and this guy now uh, found 10 detected codes so there is the PO140 there is uh, these two uh, radiator blind activation GLF I haven't had time to check uh, in more uh, in more in depth about those but I know what these guys are here is my uh, reverse lights are not working when you go to customize it is checking your uh, vehicle and as you can see my car does not offer any customization from the year 2008 and up you could use the VPIC and uh, you can uh, code your car and doesn't give any further information there but another thing that you can uh, use the VPIC uh, OBD check BLE plus uh, with Carista is the service and it's pretty much the same thing as uh, okay so there you have it pretty much same thing as the diagnostic but this is more uh, in detail so detailed ECU info and this will take about the same amount of time to process all the modules and give you the information that you can read there it is detailed ECU info and you can see even the VIN of your car uh, and manufacture date like all this information airbags and here it gives you different modules and then at the end it says if there is faults or not as you see the airbags has no faults uh, the traction stability control has the C998 manufacturer specific code uh, and then it goes on and on with all these options and then again here engine it has two codes uh, the radiator blind activation GLF and the oxygen sensor catalytic, uh, catalytic converter bank one signal transmission and then transmission no fault codes and then instrument cluster no fault codes so it gives you the specific codes for each module that the uh, app and the OBD can reach and there is so much information here that you can see and you can either copy this information and paste it somewhere else or you can even send it like email it to someone or text it or whatever you want to do with it or you can save it as a file all uh, options that you would and emission test it can even check or reset the emission test and there misfire already but catalyst is not because of that uh, auto sensor evaporative system not ready oxygen sensor of course not and oxygen sensor heater of course not let me know what you think about the video uh, if you have any questions leave it down on the comment section I'll try to get you guys discounts on other products I'm gonna be testing out um, and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come and thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.